Do your tests make code hard to change? Hey, this is Caio from EssentialDeveloper.com and today I'm recording from Sao Paulo, Brazil. In today's video, we're going to talk about common mistakes that makes people turn their heads on testing, starting with tests that make code hard to change. One of the goals of testing is actually the opposite of that. The goal is to make code easier to change with confidence. So when we cannot do it, there's something wrong with our process and we need better practice. Practice with goals. Instead of just writing tests for the sake of it, I believe we should strive to understand why we test so we can ask ourselves if we are achieving our goals. If we are not achieving our goals, we can smartly invest time to improve our skills towards the goal. So let me show what happened this week to our open source code base. One of the key parts of the app is the game flow that controls the flow of questions and answers in the quiz. We've received a merge request from a developer called Sarhi, in which he pretty much rewrote this component to improve the code and the tests were unchanged. The code was test driven and we have 100% confidence that if the test passes, everything is fine. That proves that the code is resilient and flexible, a very powerful combination. So to make this more interesting, imagine a musician performing a piece flawlessly and then compare that with traffic noise like cars buzzing and ambulances. They are both a collection of sounds, but a musician follow a bunch of rules that were practiced over and over. Successful software development also requires rules and disciplines to be followed. It requires good process and practice. Does that mean that there's only one process or one way to be successful in software development? No, just like in music, there are different ways of doing things, different methods to follow. Just like there are different styles, scales, techniques, and genres. However, there are methods that are going to make your actions be much more effective and efficient. As for a long time we've been helping people and companies achieve their goals, I can say that the huge majority of people that cannot achieve their goals is because they either don't have any method at all, or they have a method, but they don't follow it. So their uncoordinated actions are not effective. Luckily, we also see a bunch of successful people, and they all have a process. They all follow a method. Test-driven development is one of those methods or disciplines, and it's a clear step-by-step -step process. There's step one, two, three, just like a song that can be practiced, which makes it very effective and efficient. Basically, red, green, refactor. Write your test first, write the minimum code to make it pass, clean up the code and the tests. We have an extensive series on the subject here on YouTube, and you can find the link in the description. So sometimes people understand the problem, they understand the process, they know the step by step, but they just decide not to follow it. And as a result, they cannot achieve the results expected. Their actions are not effective. Just like in music, until you master the technique, it's very hard to improvise. And very often, people blame the method. They don't understand why they cannot succeed. So trust the process. Really, if you don't have one, find one. And if you have one, follow it. Trust the process. At first, you might feel like the method is limiting you, but that's normal. That's just the learning phase. That's a good feeling. That's progress happening. And once you master it, now you can add your personal touch. You can improve the craft and share with others. So this is essential. Follow the process, measure actions and improve. So how can you measure and improve your testing techniques? Ask yourself, is the quality going up or down? Can I easily implement new requirements or change old ones with confidence? Am I reducing the cost of the project? Are my automated tests reducing time-consuming manual tasks? And there are much more we can achieve, but let's start from here. Our goal at Essential Developer is to share this knowledge with you. If you don't know where to start, we are inviting you right now to go to our code base and play with the code. And you can do just like Sir He and submit your own merge requests. So that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our professional iOS series. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.